Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this wonderful tutorial, we're trying to see some interesting Python libraries and packages or tools that you can use when you're trying to refactor your code, right? So what is code refactoring? So let's let me expand it to the bit to see it all. So simply put, code refactoring is the process of restructuring an existing code, right? You have a computer code and you're trying to restructure it in such a way that you're not going to change its external behavior, you're going to improve upon the code. So why do we do code refactoring? What are some of the advantages for refactoring your code? So the main advantages that you can have, there are several advantages, of course, are some of the advantages that it improves your code readability. So when you are writing a code, right, or when you are programming, you should have two things in mind. You should consider not just the efficiency and the performance of the code itself on the system that you are running on, but you should also consider how readable the code is going to be for a human being, right? How readable the code is going to be for a human being. That explains why most programming languages are very easy to read and easy to understand, like Python, Julia, Ruby, JavaScript, all of these programming languages are very easy to learn. But programming languages are very, very difficult, like uh, assembly with all of those stuff are difficult for humans, right, to read, and it's very difficult to learn. So when you have refraction, you should consider the advantage that when you refactor code, is going to improve the code readability, to reduce complexity, so to improve the source code maintain maintainability, right? How maintainable is the code going to be in, after you have finished writing it and deploy it? When the next person comes, is it going to be easy for the person to be able to maintain the code? Then it's going to help improve the extensibility, how to be able to extend the code. That is the advantages, some of the advantages of refactoring code. So when you talk about refactoring code, it includes upgrading your dependencies to a newer version, right? Maybe from Python 3.6. To Python 3.7 or 3.8 or 3.9 alpha, something like that, or you are going to renew your code function, right? Rename your code functions, your classes, your models, which is very, very important. Because sometimes when you're writing the code, you may have to make sure that the naming is important, like the naming is very, very important. It is self explanatory, it makes you get the point. So that even if you don't give a comment for your function, you'll be able to understand what the code does by the name. Okay, another thing for refactoring is that it includes reorganizing your code and then moving functions are like going to separate the code into files if it is a bulky code then it also involves improving the implementation of a function to increase performance as well as reformatting your code to make it to meet the standards right to follow guidance and also to follow design patterns so that is the basic idea about code refactoring or refactoring the code so in doing so we have several aspects so there is a pre-refactoring aspect and then there is refactoring itself then after refactoring there are some other things you're supposed to do so all of them includes checking the code quality so how pure or how quality your code right and you're also going to do static code analysis where you're going to identify vulnerabilities and errors without actually executing the program so that is static so it's like you're going to run the program you're not going to execute the program you're going to check for vulnerabilities errors inside the code there are several packages you can learn about that and then the next thing I'm going to measure for code metrics that includes maintain, MI that is maintain, maintainability index then complexity of code and then handle how still metrics right there are several metrics that help us we can check about code we're also going to include testing which is very interesting but we don't like to do this then structuring or reorganizing the code you're going to remove duplicate and redundant code that is dry, right? Don't repeat yourself. Decomposition, backwards comp compatibility. You make sure that your code is backward compatible. Then you must follow design patterns and then as well as style, gu style guidelines and then conventions. Then, after doing all of these things, which is very, very important, you should document your differences and then your updates so that it will be easy for people to know what you have refactored. So now let's see some interesting aspects. So we have something called static code analysis, which are which I already explained, is a method of debugging by examining the source code before the program is run, right? There are several packages that you can use to do that. So these are some of the packages we'll be trying to see how to use them. So we'll be working with Radon for now. We'll check with the rest later. So some of the tools you may use is that some IDEs like PyCharm, PyDev, and then they already come or they give you the option of implementing or adding some refactoring packages, right, or plugins. So PyCharm comes with one. And by the you can also have some for Sublime, VS Code, and any other ID that you have. Then let's see some of the stuff, some of the tools. So I've structured them so that you need to see them more. So this one will be below so that I can check. So we have for checking security and vulnerability, we have Bandit. We also have PyFind Injection. We have DLN. There are several tools, right? But these ones are useful when you're trying to check for 
vulnerabilities. In case you want to check for formatting and linting, we have several of them. We have pile links, we have black, we have belly button. In case you want to check for static code analysis or static and then static type checking, we have MyPy, we have PyT, which is very useful when you're trying to work with application. We have PyType, we have PyWrite, we have Jedi. It's a full library. We have PyLens itself, we have Sonography, Sonograph, all right? There are several packages, right? But this has one then. In case you want to check for the code metrics, we have Maccabi, that is a person that's a story, it's a human being. <laughs> it's formula that's why they call the package like that. You have Radon, you have Xenon, which is built on top of Radon. This is what we'll be learning about that later. We also have some packages that will help us to do styling and formatting. We have PyCoder style, PyDoc style, PyRoma. We make Python style codes, which is very, very interesting. And also, there are some other packages that help, help us to do error checking. We have PyFlix, PyLens, PyReverse, there are several of them. And we have the other ones. We have Vulture, which you also learn about. It's very interesting to help us to find or use classes and then variables. So these are some of the packages that you can use to help you when you're trying to refactor your code, right? There are several of them, but this is some of them. So we'll be learning about Radon, right? So stay tuned for the next aspect. So stay tuned for some interesting aspects we're doing. And then please check the links below for some interesting books that can help you to master Python and machine learning. Thank you and stay blessed.